Hello everybody and welcome to From the Couch. Today is tutorial day, we haven't had one in a while and I want to teach you guys how to create threaded comments or to style threaded comments for a WordPress blog. Um, I only do the CSS and HTML side, Mark does the WordPress side, so this is just the styling and the HTML. I've already laid everything out because there's a lot of code to type in for a good layout and um, I'm just going to talk you through it and basically I'll just cut out each item and take you through the steps. This is what we'll end up with or this is what is already in the code and um, I will attach the file to the, uh, to the post so you can download it later. So what have we got here? Well basically threaded comments are unordered lists so if we just cut out everything, what you have here is the unordered lists and um, inside the unordered list we will be placing our comment and then for every sub comment we'll place an unordered list within the parent li. So I've literally called the, the main comment areas uh, parents and then sub comments are children. Um, Let's just press enter here, just give it some space. Okay, so if you look at the uh, the unordered list name, it's called comments, okay? That will determine that we are now in the comment section. Then within there, we've got LIs, which have parents. That is the first comment within a threaded comment. It's comment number one. And within that, we've got our uh, divs, which have been styled. So we've got our gravatar image, uh, we've got our comment uh, name, the date of the comment and then the comment paragraph. If you want children, I mean if you want sub comments then you need to put another unordered list within the LI and once again I call this, I call this um, unordered list children and within it is child for each LI and then again a slightly different styling to the parent comment because I want it to be different and there's a couple of sort of uh, logistical er uh, issues which you need to overcome when the dynamic sizing of the children, the child comment section is getting smaller. So in the parent comment we just have image and comment content. Okay, So if we look at, if we just press refresh, here's our image and here's our comment content. Within a child comment, a sub comment, we've moved the image and the, the commenter's details above the actual comment itself. The reason we do this is because you can't um, define the width of, of, your, par of your actual comment content um, every time the child comment block, block gets smaller. Okay. So for sub com, com for sub comments we've got a slightly different style to the parent comment and the main difference is that the images and the details are placed above the actual con comment content. If we look at the styles over here you'll see I've just set up the standard styles which is the body and then we've got a container div which has 60, 660 pixels in width margin auto and then a content div which has the 20 pixel padding. Let's look at the parent comments and basically what I've done here is unordered list dot comments. I've taken away the list style, taken away all the padding and then for each parent li I've given it, given it a background of white which you can see here, it's white and um, a margin of two pixels to separate each comment, each new comment from each other. The image for parent comment is floated to the left I'll just use Mark's comment over here. And then um, we've got comment content, which contains your H3, H4, and the actual comment itself. Within a sub -com comment, we've got ul.children, that is basically telling us that there are now sub comments which have started, which is placed within the li of the parent comment. And within there, we've got li comment.child, that is for each comment, we're going to have a new 
li.child uh, section. So let's just do one over here. Paste in a new one. Go to our thing and press F5. You see now we've got two comments there. If I get rid of it, you'll see more clearly. Press F5, it's gone. So let's just put it back in there. So for each sub-content, a comment, you you put in a li, and if there's a comment within that comment, you put it within the child comment. It's getting quite complicated now. It's all about understanding your layers, and um, I think the best, the reason I'm using unordered list is because it's the best way, in my opinion, to sort these threaded comments. And there you go. We've got another. We've got a sub comment within a comment, within a sub comment. Let's just get rid of that for now. And let's go back to the style sheet. Okay. So if we go to the styles, we've got um, ul.children, okay, and that will apply to every single sub comment. So first we've got the parent comments, and that you only use um, once per per thread. And then for the ch the children, the sub comments, we can use um, this piece of styling as much as we want. A couple of things which I've had to define, which separate it from the parent comments, and that is the within a parent comment, I've set the width of comment content, which is this stuff over here. Okay, that is. Hang on, let me highlight that properly. That is the comment content. With the parent comments, I've defined the width. Okay, with the parent comments, I've defined the width. With a sub comment, the width is set to auto. Okay, in the parent comment, the comment content is floating left of our image. With a child comment, the comment content is clearing the image and the details. Those are important things. My advice is that you don't float your gravatar and your comment your commenter's details next to your comment content because that is going to throw off your styles. The comment content is going to bump to the right and it's going to overflow outside of your defined divs and you don't want that. Um, other details are that the the, the sub comments um, image size is slightly different. Instead of 80 pixels, I've made it 40 pixels. I just also made sure that it um, fits the height relatively well with um, the, the name and the the date. And by you do that by basically saying li.child, then the image div, which we've defined here. See, I've got image and then within that is another image, or is the actual image. So we've got li.child space dot image. So that says that the the div within that um, child point dot image, and then the actual image itself. I've defined the height and width, which I've changed to 40 pixels. It's basically half the size of our parent comment. Then for the comment details, I've told it to float left of the comment image and then the comment content within a subchild, I mean a sub comment, clears that. That is the very basic um, sort of tutorial on how to set up your sub comments using styling in a WordPress blog. Attached will be this file in a zip format. I've also included the clear fix uh, solution which allows you to um, cut out using break class equals clear uh, for any clearing bugs in browsers. I hope that was useful. I hope that explains well enough what we've done here. And um, thanks for watching. This is brought to you by the Obox Signature Series. I'm David Perrell. This is from the couch. Ciao.